They started to burn. The rest of the convoy uh, tried to escape, but they didn't manage. In the winter, it's quite slippery, and the Americans were also uh, quite frightened the first days mm. of the German attack. And after a short fight of about 10 minutes, the Americans decided to go back by foot, mm. leaving all their vehicles and equipment to the Germans. Uh, Sure. About 10 minutes later, some German photographers came on the scenery and made all these pictures and films. You can also see the films, the original films, in the museum in the back. Uh, this is probably one of the most famous pictures. You see this guy in every book. And uh, on the road you see an armed armored car. So this is this armored car, and here was the guy standing. That's about 5 meters, 5 yards, uh, behind the electrical post we just passed. So there was this guy standing. Then the photographer turned around and made, made these two pictures. And you see a little shed with some trees in the background. Well, it's still there, the shed. Oh, Only the trees are 60 years bigger now. <laughs> I don't water them, but they still keep growing, you know. We saw that on the internet. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So you see these pictures every book. If you look at Discovery, they use this film, this footage, over and over. But this is the spot where it actually is uh, taken. Lucky Strike, first again with Tobacco Men. First again with Tobacco Men. LSMFT, LSMFT. Lucky Strike means fine tobacco. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video here um, this is a painting I did for my buddy Nick a while ago 2017 I hope you still have a big guy um, also I would like to thank Haro from Access Forums for posting valuable research material that's awesome keep it up one day we'll potentially hopefully find the identity of this soldier uh, ambush at Patoa Museum for the explanation at the beginning and everyone just uh, take care we'll see you in the next one bye